Is it the right time to buy or sell NEO stock? In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into NEO. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, January 31, 2024. And now, we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. It's important not to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Starting from January 9, 2024, our system has identified NEO as a strong sell candidate, with a score of minus 6.94. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has experienced a loss of minus 25.66%. This means it has been averaging a daily loss of minus 1.60% since it was listed as a strong sell candidate. Based on the current three-month trend, it appears that there may be a potential minus 10.99% change in the next three months. This means there is a chance of a return ranging from minus 10.99% to 42.99%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 13.13% change over the next year. This could lead to a potential return ranging from minus 8.17% to 122.32%. In other words, the price could vary between $5.16 and $12.49 after a year. Our latest update for NEO brings us some important news. On Wednesday, NEO stock experienced a red day, with a loss of 2.94%. Specifically, the stock price dropped from $5.79 to $5.62 on January 31, 2024. Throughout the trading day, it fluctuated between a low of $5.43 and a high of $5.86, marking a 7.92% fluctuation. It's worth noting that over the past 10 days, the price has fallen in seven instances, resulting in a total decrease of 10.79%. Additionally, volume has increased by 11 million shares, but at lower prices. This could be seen as an early warning sign, indicating a slight increase in risk over the next few days. In total, approximately $418.95 million worth of NEO shares were bought and sold, with a total of 75 million shares exchanged. Let's take a broader look at NEO's performance. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price reached $16.18, while the lowest was $5.43. Currently, the price stands at $10.56, or 65.27%, below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it is at $61.37, or 91.61%, below the all-time high, which occurred on January 11, 2021, when the price reached $66.99. Analyst Ratings On Monday, June 12, 2023, UBS gave NEO a neutral grade with a hold action. On Monday, June 12, 2023, Citigroup gave NEO a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, March 14, 2023, JP Morgan gave NEO a neutral grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, March 2, 2023, Telsey Advisory gave NEO a neutral grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, December 29, 2022, Citigroup gave NEO a hold grade with a hold action. Analysts have given NEO stock a general neutral rating. They rate the PE ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. However, for return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong sell rating. Today, let's take a closer look at the signals for NEO stock. Currently, there aren't many positive technical signals for NEO. Both short term and long term moving averages suggest a negative forecast for the stock, indicating sell signals. Additionally, the relationship between these two signals shows a general sell signal with the long term average being above the short term average. 
It's worth noting that if the stock experiences corrections and moves upwards, it may face resistance at $6 and $7.45. However, if the stock manages to break above these levels, it could issue by signals. On Thursday, December 28, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, resulting in a significant minus 40.40% fall. It's likely that the stock will continue to decline until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, currently indicates a sell signal. Yesterday, volume rose while prices fell, which could be an early warning sign. It's recommended to closely monitor the stock in light of this development. Today, we'll be discussing some interesting signals that you should keep an eye on. First up, we have the moving average convergence divergence, which is currently showing a sell signal. Next, let's talk about pivots. It indicated a sell signal 23 days ago. The Bollinger indicator, on the other hand, gave a buy signal 29 days ago. The short-term moving average also signaled a sell 3 days ago. And the long-term moving average confirmed the sell signal 17 days ago. Additionally, if we analyze the relation between the short and long moving averages, we find a buy signal that occurred 15 days ago. Now, let's shift our focus to the 12-month chart. Here's what it tells us. The short moving average indicated a sell signal 19 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average confirmed the sell signal 22 days ago. Lastly, the relation between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 90 days ago. For more signals and insights, visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for NEO Today, NEO's stock is facing a concerning situation. There is no support from accumulated volume below its current level, which means that if the right conditions arise, the stock may perform poorly in the next couple of days. Additionally, this stock exhibits high volatility, meaning it can experience significant price movements throughout the day. The Bollinger Band also indicates a wide prediction interval, further emphasizing the very high risk nature of this stock. To put things into perspective, in the past day alone, NEO's stock had a price range of $0.430 or 7.92% between its highest and lowest points. Over the last week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 4.63%. Before we explore potential trading levels for NEO, let's begin by discussing some key fundamental data. First, let's consider the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This important metric compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio suggests that a company has negative earnings or is currently operating at a loss. It's not uncommon for even well-established companies to experience temporary downturns, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistent negative P-E ratios may indicate insufficient profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for the fourth quarter of 2023 is scheduled for release on February 28, 2024. Today, we'll be looking at the potential day trading levels for NEO. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for NEO is at $6.06. .06. If you're not already invested, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering a position. However, for those who already hold the stock, this level could be interesting for swing trading opportunities. It's important to note that there isn't much support from accumulated volume below, which means the stock has the potential to drop significantly under certain conditions. Therefore, it's crucial to proceed with caution and consider making trades only if you have experience and know how to navigate such situations. The average rating for NEO from multiple analysts is neutral. Now let's look at some recent insider trades. On February 24, 2015, David J. Lamb conducted an insider buy of zero shares. On March 1, 2010, Bank of America Corp. conducted an insider buy of 1,824 shares of common stock. On March 25, 2010, Bank of America Corp. conducted an insider buy of 300 shares of common stock. On March 25, 2010, Bank of America Corp. conducted an insider buy of 31 shares of common stock. On January 6, 2010, 
Bank of America Corp. conducted an insider buy of 25 shares of common stock. Based on the 21 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of 0, 0.000. Overall, insiders purchased 2,275 shares and sold 15,792 shares in the last 21 trades. We have evaluated this stock and unfortunately, it receives a negative rating. Furthermore, no stop loss has been set for this stock. Is NEO stock a good buy? Currently, NEO stock is showing several negative signals and is experiencing a significant and downward trend. As a result, we anticipate that it will continue to perform weekly in the coming days or weeks. Therefore, our evaluation of this stock is negative. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For Thursday, February 1st, we expect NEO to open at $5.64, with an increase of $0.0167. Before we begin, it's important to note that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. Consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. Please remember that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we're going to discuss our current view of the stock. We value your opinion, so please let us know if you agree or disagree by commenting below. We're also interested in hearing your target for the stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Our team wishes you successful trading and a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us.